Hello fellow Corvette enthusiasts. I just received my Alden American Corvette coilovers for my C6 Z06 Corvette. Um, they should be the same for the C5 and the C6, uh, even though I did specify that was for the C6 and chose my spring rate. So hopefully it is the, the correct, um, correct spring rate that I ordered. The, um, the one thing is I know that Alden's been going through a lot of different iterations of their coilovers from kind of their inception a few years ago, um, and then working with TPS Motorsports, which is local to me in the San Jose area, and working uh, around the United States with different, uh, different other C5 and C6 customers than dealing with just quality, fitment, ride height, and hopefully they've got everything dialed in now. Um, because I know on the, a C6 Grand Sport that I was reading about on Corvette Forum, um, they're just having a hard time getting the, uh, the ride height to line up correctly. Uh, I did call Alden because um, when I had ordered on TPS's website, they had different options for long shock versus short, short shock options, um, different spring rates, whether it was a C5 or a C6. Um, when I called Alden to check in on the status of my order, because I was wondering about shipping, it was two weeks pretty much from when I ordered it to when I received it, um, not taking into account over the, uh, the New Year's holiday. Uh, they told me that they only have one version now of their shock, so I'm hoping that they've got all the details worked out, and uh, I'll be obviously posting another video with the, um, the install, and followed by a corner balance and alignment. So we'll see how that goes. I do just want to do an unboxing now so you guys can see what the coils look like uh, from first receipt. So we'll go ahead and we'll open this box up. I don't get my fingers with the staples. Looks like they have a box inside of a box. This is kind of more of their retail packaging here. So the staples went into both packages. So those are the two boxes we see. Let's go ahead and we'll open up one of them. Move that out of the way. Design built, California, Los Angeles. All right. So this is going to be a front shock, I'm looking at it, and fit and finish looks pretty nice. I know you guys were asking about the bushings um, and the mounts. They are not Delrin, not rubber, they are a poly mount. Now as far as the lower T-bar, that's also a poly, and it looks like it, they have a it's like a circlip, and the angle isn't quite right, so I'm hoping I can move, re readjust this, because I can tell already from looking at it, the angle of this mount isn't correct, so I'll probably have to move those. Here's the, uh, the compression adjustment knob, which is, ooh, it's really tight. So I am, I'm not sure if I need to loosen that. I'm not going to force it until after I read the instructions on that, because it's, it's not really wanting to budge. So I need to check on that and find out if uh, there's a little set screw in there, if I need to loosen the set screw, possibly before adjusting it. Bump stops rubber. Um, it looks like it just has two uh, nut and a lock nut. Preload looks to be about, well, I'd say probably an inch and a quarter. And then I opted for the free thrust bearing upgrade. So they have the, the kind of the needle bearings here. To make it easier for adjustment. Um, I don't see a lock on the lower perch though, so I'm just assuming that it doesn't move 
after you adjust it, usually, oh, it's black. That's why I didn't see it. Okay, so the, um, the stainless right here, that's probably aluminum. Um, and then the black, so that is the lock, and then there's the, the upper adjustment for the perch. Okay, uh, hopefully it came with a spanner wrench. It's supposed to include one. So there's one of the fronts. I see some instructions in here. We'll open those later. Let's go ahead and pull open, well, I'll put this one back and we'll pull open the rear. Okay, more instructions. Ah, oh, I see the spanner wrench. Yes, all right. Excellent. And let's have a look at the rear. I think these are the bolts that hold on the mounting plate. And then here are the upper mounting plates. I saw in a previous video they labeled them right and left. Um, hopefully these are be able to discern right from the left. Or then maybe they have pictures in the instructions. Because they're obviously, these are not identical. There is a right and a left. It would have been nice for them to stamp one or put a little sticker that says right or left. But hey, I'm sure we can figure out a little deduction where it goes. All right. Oh, I totally forgot to check my spring rates to make sure they sent me the right ones. By looking at this one, this one's 650. Um, Rebound knob also is locked in. This one's really tight. So I'm assuming that is a set screw right there. Um, because that is, looks like a fully bearing there. Okay. Yeah, the uh, that's really, really tight. I'll have to look into that. But once again, the fitment looks really nice. That thrust bearing, which allows me to turn that spring really easily. They're already wound up pretty high. Um, I think they might already be preset, uh, but like I said, they kind of send these out for both C5 and C6s. So I might have to have to monkey with that for the adjust for the the ride height. But overall, I'm actually pretty comp impressed compared to I've seen in person kind of the BC and the stance coilovers, and uh, the quality is just not nearly as good as this. You can definitely tell that those are kind of just a an affordable shock or this is just really really looks like, like a high-end piece the machining is uh, is really impressive on it well what I'll do is uh, I'll find out about the compression the rebound re rebound knobs on the front and rear and why they're so tight and uh, then um, report back on that and also I think the next video you'll see from me is uh, installing them and uh, hopefully we don't run into any issues